Good morning, Falcons. Today's date is January 8th, 2013. I'm James Schaefer. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance, followed by a moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. It has been freezing outside lately, especially in the morning, so be sure to stop by the student store and pick up a cup of hot chocolate for only one dollar. The elections may be over for our president, but there is an entirely different election coming up for student council. If you want to run for any offices like chief secretary or vice president or even president, right now is the time to consider yourself for nomination for school office. Here to tell us more about the student council elections and what student council entails is Gabby Nellis, the current school president. Thank you for being on, Gabby. Thank you for having me, James. So, Gabby, there's a lot of work things that come in with being in student council, and there's a lot of fun things that come in with being in student council. What are the fun things that you get to do in student council? Okay, the fun things, well, every moment is fun, <laughs> you know. But the extra fun things that we do are um, we're taking a trip to Disneyland to Ooh. participate in their leadership program. We do lots of different like charity events around the community, and those are always so much fun getting to meet new people and just hanging out with the friends and student council and just other lots of fun things like that. And as well as there are fun things, there's also work things. So what are the work things that you really have to put in a lot of effort for when you're in student council? All right, obviously the assemblies. We put on all of the assemblies. You gotta come in on Saturdays for our Super Saturdays. And the night before we have our big assembly set up and every day in class we work on that. And then also, because we are a leadership class, so we have leadership projects that we have you do within the fourth period class. Oh, and and what are the requirements to run for student council? Okay, the basic, basic requirements are just to have a 2.5 minimum GPA, um, no behavioral issues, and you just gotta have a really committed and spirited spirit. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that sounds like a lot of fun. I guess anyone would want to be running for student council right oh, now. Yeah. Well, thank you for being on, Gabby. Thank you, James. Seniors, on Tuesday, January 8th at 10 a.m., UNLV will be here. Then, Nevada State College will be here at 11.30 a.m. See Mrs. Breslin in the Career Center in room 704 to sign up for an appointment. And speaking of seniors, let's take a look at what senioritis looks like to see what the symptoms are so you would be able to watch out. Is that assignment you wanted? What's wrong with you today? I'm good. What's wrong? I don't know. Are you actually sick? I don't know. I don't think so. Or did you just have your senioritis? I think that's it. I think you're good. I think you just have a good case of senioritis. <laughs> Sometimes in the spring, people get senioritis, but you have a lot of absences, and if you get too many absences, you know, you're going to lose credit in your classes. So I don't want you to have senioritis this early in the year, you know. I don't want you to have senioritis at all because I want to see you graduate. So don't let those absences pile up, okay? All right, thanks, Mr. Campbell. Okay, you're welcome. <laughs> DECA begins a two-a-week two 
training to prepare for competition. DECA competition is only four weeks away, so on Tuesday and Thursdays at 1.20 until competition time in February. See you there. And also remember that DECA fees for competition are due by Wednesday tomorrow. DECA members will stay two nights at the Flamingo Hotel in Las Vegas to participate in this competition. That's January 9th, which is tomorrow. It is, a, it is the very last day to make your payment and reserve your space for this event. GSA Club is holding a blanket drive. The club is collecting unwanted, used, and new blankets for a local animal shelter. Please bring in your donation of blankets to the activities office now until the end of the day on Friday. Creative Writing Club will meet this week. Our meeting will be tomorrow, 1.30, in room 233. There will be a brief track and field informational meeting on Wednesday, January 9th. That's tomorrow at 1.30 p.m. in room 404. Intramurals will begin on Monday, January 28th at 2 p.m. on the track. All athletes must have an athletic packet turned in to participate. For all boys interested in trying out for the volleyball in the spring, intramurals will begin this week on Wednesday. That's tomorrow. Congratulations to both the JV and varsity team varsity dance team for their first place wins this past Saturday at the USA Regionals. What a great way to kick off our competition. Hey Falcons, our lady and boys basketball Falcons are playing against BASIC at BASIC starting at 3 till 5 tomorrow. Be sure to be there and support our Falcons. Well Falcons, that's all the announcements we have for you today. This has been James Schaefer. Have a great day Falcons.